Yes, uh, beachboys.com. I would like to pre-order 10 of the new Sounds of Summer lithograph sets, please. What do you mean, customer limit of four? Do you know who I am? I have over two subscribers on YouTube, and I spend a lot of money on your site. No, hello. Never mind. This summer, one of the best Beach Boys Greatest Hits packages of all time is getting a new makeover and a new track list. Anybody who's been a Beach Boys collector or even a casual fan knows all about 2003's Sounds of Summer. The release, one of their best selling of all time, that made a whole new generation into Beach Boys fans. Sounds of Summer contains, here's the final copy, contains two full LPs or one CD featuring many, not all, but many of the group's charting singles. All of these are top 40 uh, singles. All the number ones are included. All the top tens are included. Good Timing, for example, peaked at number 40. Lower charting, but still on there for good measure. Not every charting single uh, is on this release. And it's New Sounds of Summer, complete with different cover art, will be released June 17th, 2022, in several different forms. The joke I was making with my phone at the beginning revolves around the deluxe, exclusive BeachBoys.com Collector's Edition, which contains six LPs, some bonus lithographs and, and artwork, and it will retail for about $200 to be pre-ordered from the Beach Boys website. But there are other cheaper alternatives as well. The two LP set, which is just a remastering of the original Sounds of Summer uh, vinyl seen here, retails for about $50. Uh, that's the exclusive version, I should add. It comes with some bonus uh, doodads there, some artwork, things like that. To get it without that artwork will be $40. So again, you can purchase it with the extra frills or without. And of course, the CD gets a reissuing too. Again, new cover art, uh, new mixes in some cases. The Good Vibrations stereo mix is available on YouTube to listen. Sounds great with your headphones on. No two ways about that. The CD is going to retail for about $30 if you buy the multi-disc version. It's about half that to get just the single disc. So you might ask, well, what all would be on the multi-disc? And with new tracks, new, new mixes. And I figured we'd take today to look at some of the oddities revolving around Sounds of Summer, some of the alternate releases and tie-ins, and compare those to what's coming. And I thought the best way to start it would be with something that's actually not going to be involved with these new releases. Sounds of Summer actually got a special orange vinyl release at one time. None of these new records, be them six or the regular two uh, LP releases, are going to be released on colorful vinyl that I'm aware of. I think it was exclusive just to some pressings of the original 2003 record. I believe this was a Target excuse, exclusive, excuse me, exclusive. I don't know that for sure. I bought it secondhand just a couple years ago. It was dirt cheap because it was used, and there are some smudges on, on the orange vinyl there. They show up really well because it's so bright, but it still plays just fine, so I'm happy with it. But that's something kind of cool that is not going to carry over to these reissues. Another thing to mention about Sounds of Summer that people might not realize is that it had a sequel. Sounds of Summer went triple platinum, was in the top 20 best-selling albums. It continues to chart year after year. It's probably a big summertime seller. But in 2007, four years after its original release, it did have a sequel, exclusive to CD, called The Warmth of the Sun. The Warmth of the Sun, here's the disc for you, took some of those singles, charting singles, that weren't on Sounds of Summer and put them here. So we have The Little Girl I Once Knew, that made the top 20, not on this set. One of my favorite Beach Boy songs, It's Okay, made the top 30, again not on this set, so it's here. And some of the lesser charting singles, like Why Do Fools Fall in Love, Cal Saga, California Dreamin', those sorts of things are on here as well, along with some B-sides, the Warmth of the Sun, of course, the eponymous track there. Songs like Hawaii and Catch a Wave that are popular live tracks. It's kind of a hodgepodge, covering the early 60s up through the 80s. 
409 is on there, it's not on here, that kind of stuff. So when I saw that this was getting reissued with extra records, with extra CDs, extra songs, I thought, oh, this is finally going to get a vinyl release. Remember, it was just CD back in 2007, so I thought this will get a vinyl release. Well, that's not the case. The additional records on this Sounds of Summer reissue are new custom track lists. There are some songs on Warmth of the Sun that will be on there. For example, tracks like All Summer Long, You Are So Good to Me, Friends, uh, The Warmth of the Sun, Let Them Run Wild, and many of their early 70s tracks that have become popular now due to feel flows. So, uh, things like feel flows and all this is that and uh, Disney Girls, those sorts of things will be on there too, and they're also on this CD. But it's interesting that they opted not to use this, but to make a new listing. Sounds of Summer also received an international release. This was done through EMI, released in Australia, probably in continental Europe as well, in the UK. And you might think, oh, this new Sounds of Summer 3 CD release will at least take some of its marching orders from this. But that's not necessarily the case. Generally speaking, the Beach Boys catalog is basically the same worldwide. There are very few differences between the albums in the U.S. versus those overseas. Probably the biggest one most fans could think of. Everybody's favorite Beach Boys album, Summer in Paradise, the U.S. version. The UK version. And the UK version contains alternate mixes of many of the songs, sometimes completely re recorded, different singers, different lyrics, other times just a shortened or substituted mix. Uh, I recommend the UK mix more than the US one. I think that this is a better album overall. But generally, they don't, except when it comes to greatest hits packages. Ever since 1966, when the very first Beach Boys Hits package came out, the UK received a completely different bit. More songs, different songs, whatever was catering more towards what the UK or Europe or Australia, whoever was in charge of EMI, decided that they needed. And that's remained true. Greatest hits packages that were huge successes in the United States, like Endless Summer or Made in USA, they didn't really get released in Europe, or if they did, it was more of an afterthought. Well, in the UK or Europe or Australia or elsewhere in the world, there are very famous packages like 20 Golden Greats or Greatest Hits or the very best of the Beach Boys that weren't released stateside. So Greatest Hits packages are the big point of difference when it comes to the Beach Boys International Discography. This set has, doesn't have a whole lot in common with the new releases for Sounds of Summer. This contains some songs that were huge hits like Lady Linda and Suma Hama and Student Demonstration Time that never caught on and they won't be appearing on this set. This also is kind of a cool rarity because it features some of their collaborations. Their duet with Status Quo is on here that's probably not going to get released on any U.S. Greatest Hits packages. They have their duet with the Fat Boys on there, Wipeout, which the less said about that, the better. But it's still a cool package, but it's not to be compared to the uh, upcoming reissue of this. One thing that will make the new Sounds of Summer this June unique is that some things are making their vinyl debut. Notably, several things from the 50th anniversary package made in California. So for the first time, we'll get California Feelin' on vinyl, get the alternate mix of It's OK with the intro. Don't fall over on there it goes. And we'll get some, even some stuff that was only released digitally, like the alternate take of All I Want to Do. So it's going to be an interesting package, a lot of elements to it. I've pre-ordered my exclusive set, perhaps in June, a video in here will be my unboxing of that. But I think it's going to be something interesting. But just remember, Sounds of Summer has come a long way in the 19 years it's existed. There are already, as you can see, several different versions and several different ideas at play. But I think this will be something special and a good way to kick off a fun 60th anniversary celebration. 
Are you going to purchase any Sounds of Summer releases this June? Do you have any favorite Beach Boys tunes you're looking forward to hearing, perhaps even in a new stereo mix? Please leave a comment with your favorites. Tune in next time, and until I see you again, go out and catch a wave. Thank you.